Okay, so in my last video, I was creating or showing you with the structure of a dramedy instrumental cue for television. And I mentioned that there was something wrong with that cue. The problem with that cue was that it lacked edit points. And I know that some beginning composers for television music need to know, uh, they don't know what that means. So I'm going to take that cue and uh, add edit points so you can see exactly what music editors are looking for uh, when they're working quickly to get their uh, work done and meet their deadlines. So an edit point is a space in an instrumental cue or any kind of cue uh, that logically makes sense to insert silence. Why would you want silence? An editor may want to just stop at a certain part and not worry about editing the wave file and doing a fade out that sounds normal. You want a naturally sounding, a musically correct sounding pause in the music to give an editor an exit point or an entry point into a cue of yours. So let's take a look at this cue I did and then I'll show you where I want to put edit points and I will create the edit points for you as well. So play this cue. Again, this is a basic dramedy cue with pizzicato strings, very simple. Add some bass strings here, add the kick drum, add the hi-hats. Constantly adding and removing elements to keep it simple, but still maintain variety. I'm adding snare drum here, that's the only change. I've got a new section here, this is the breakdown section. Musically, it might make sense to add a pause before that starts. So let's do that. Okay, pausing here. Let's take a look right where I'm at. Bar 12 is where the phrase ends, you know. So let's add some space here. I'm going to take a very simple approach. I'm going to tune out this uh, fill. I'm going to highlight my tracks and just drag them over a little bit to edit them short. Let's try it right there. Let's see what that sounds like. Perfect. Nice little space in the last two beats. Two, three, four. So now if I want to as an editor, I can just start right here. That makes sense. Or if I wanted to stop right here at the end. Done. So there's an edit point. All I did was cut off two or three beats worth of musical material to create that space. And it sounds natural. Now let's find another spot. You'd like, I'd like to put two edit points per cue when possible. Um, let's go to... Okay, this is my, my, my second verse when I change keys by my third out of the breakdown. So maybe I can insert one here. I could probably put one there. Same kind of concept. No, yeah, we'll do that. What the heck? So let's do a little break right here. That's my marker I'm putting to see where things should stop. Let's just do this. Drag it over there. I probably clip this as well. I'm gonna slide over so it's a little more like that. Boom, let's see what it sounds, let's see what it sounds like. That works, I think the 808 extends a little bit. Okay, I think I'm gonna pull that last hit out of there. Well, there it is, it's hiding right down here in the bottom right. Let's get that. Boom, now we'll try it again. Works, makes sense. See, it doesn't sound jarring. It's not sudden or non-musical. I could put it at a point there if I wanted to as well. Let's do that. So, coming out of this modified verse. Do something. Let's see. I got the boom, boom, boom. Take this right here. Let's take the whole bar out and see what that sounds like. Okay, I'm going to keep it that way because there's enough space between the upper strings and lower strings. Listen again for the space or the pause between the high strings and low strings. So I could, as an editor, just hop in right here. So, a little pickup note there, and I could stop it right there. So just make it visual, boom. That's a tiny edit space, but it's still an edit point where the, the editor could come back in right here. 
So that's really all there is to it. Just putting a space or two spaces or three spaces in your queue where an editor can e easily enter or exit your music without making it sound musically awkward. A nice downbeat stop, a couple beats, maybe a full measure of space. It all depends on, on the musical style, but it's a very, very simple thing to do. And something like this is incredibly important. Uh, music editors will reject tracks that don't have edit points unless the music is really, really good. Edit points make it so much easier for them to do their jobs. And that's what we're trying to do is help them uh, get the music placed as needed. Help them, they help us, it all works out in the end. Hope this was useful. Got any questions, drop them in the comments. I appreciate it. I look forward to talking to you again. Have a great day.